Hey guys, so we're going to be looking at the new UI features for Substance 2018.1. Now, of recording this video, it is fairly new and Algorithmic have done a rework of the entire sort of Substance Painter Hall UI uh, sort of ethos and workflow. Everything in its entirety works the same as it previously did, but now it's just streamlined in a way that you can modify all the little dock panels and things like that. And they just really made life a lot easier with being able to customize and use the way and use substance the way you exactly want to be able to use it. So I'll just go through the key features really that when you first open it you will see it like this and it might look different to those who have either used it before or new users but like I say it's pretty much the same across the board. Now most of the items here you can move around and you can dock them in different places like you can grab the texture set you can grab the layers and you can put them elsewhere and you can dock them in other places. Now sometimes you might have moved these and they might go to places that you didn't want them to go. You can essentially close all of these items up just by pressing the little X and they'll be docked to this right hand side. So you never have to see them if you don't want to. So you want to work in a massive workspace just like this and see your entire model, you can do. Or you can choose to undock them as you see fit. So say you want to look at your texture set settings, you can click and it'll bring up a little rollout, a little pop out. You can do the same with the layers and you can choose to rescale and resize um, with the thing uh, with the actual item being docked at this side. So therefore you never have to see it if you don't want to. On the left hand side you will get most of the tools which were previously along the top left and you'll have all your paint settings. So let's say we want to bring out our layers and I usually like to have layers in an item all by itself just for the fact that that's it's easy to see like that and I will select something on my folder and you can see that I can still get access to my paintbrush, eraser, projection, polygon fill, all the things that we'd commonly be able to use previously. There's a new sort of contextual menu at the top before you would have to bring out something like your paint settings to adjust the size, the flow um, and what have you of the different brushes that you would want to paint with. But instead now we have access to size, flow, stroke opacity right at the top here so we never have to move away from or find another menu. Like I say, if you're like me and you want to bring the shelf out, I usually like to have the shelf docked at the bottom so I can see all my materials and items at a glance. And I like to bring out my just my pin properties and I will usually dock that to the right hand side here. And then you'll have a full list of everything that you commonly need to access because just quickly to adjust your paint settings if you use that a lot and layers because the layer stack can also get quite long. But again, it's up to you and you can choose to close these as you see fit. Now, another great thing that they've added with this release of Substance Painter is that you can right click on anywhere in your sort of viewport that you've got and it will bring up a pop out um, easy contextual menu where you can get a quick access so you can adjust everything that you would commonly find in the paint settings so you can adjust the brush you can adjust the alpha and the materials that you've got um, available so you can adjust the brush settings the alphas the stencil and the material they're all almost one big long menu but these are just shortcuts as you see when you go up and down it will just quickly snap to these areas that are the most commonly used things. You can actually adjust the size of this contextual pop out, but it's really great because you can just choose something, paint, we can go to the material section, change the color and do so with ease and then stamp painting on your object again. When you bring out your menu, you can left click once off the actual menu itself and it won't actually paint directly onto your model because sometimes in other programs you might have accidentally painted on something that you didn't mean to but you can actually do that in this version because it will actually give you um, one sort of area of click error so you don't accidentally just start painting on things that you don't want to. It's just little things that make life easier with you can adjust and dock things as required. You can bring up the easy menu by pressing on the right. They have done a couple of other things which include in the display settings, which will be control your environment and things like that. They've condensed the camera settings and the viewport settings into just one sort of display settings. So it's just condensed everything. So there isn't as many menus and things for you to have to move around in. So again, it just makes little by little everything really nice and easy just to how you like to use it. They've added a little, little a few icons in the top right hand corner here, which allow you to change your 
if you're looking at single channels for your materials, if you're looking at mesh maps, or if you're just looking at the sort of model as a whole as a material, you can still cycle through with all your keyboard shortcuts with C to cycle through your channels or M to bring it back up. You've got the same functionality as you would when you use F1 to bring up your UV map next to it. Um, you've got these at the top where you can look at 2D, 3D mode, 3D mode only, and you've got the perspective views and some camera settings and you've got a little button at this side if you want to actually go into the iRay renderer to do a, say, a render of your model when you choose to do it. So these were just some quick pointers how they've just streamlined the whole interface and allow you to customize it as you see fit. So you remember that they've changed, they've just moved most of the common functionality on this side and you will see that when I change between the different modes, the menu at the top is contextual, so it will change depending on the thing that you've chosen. And say we're on the polygon fill, we can we can change and back to the brush, it will bring up the items that are specific to that tool that we're using at any one time. So be sure to check out this version of Substance Painter because it goes a long way to make already one of the best programs that you can find for texturing assets in a PBR workflow and it's just made it better and better. So thanks again for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.